just this month, two developments. Quite light and the, the synthetic. Torture King, when did you eat your first light bulb? The drug of a nation, breeding ignorance and feet. No, 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 no. Too many people. You must see the rest of the transmission. Hollywood keeps denying that there is a... Grilling and chilling. Beginning Monday at its new time, weekdays at... Spare ribs are not spare. Here, and, and folks, one thing about fishing for crappies is that they're tasty fish, great eating fish. In fact, they're one of my favorite fish to eat. The meat is very sweet. They're prolific spawners. Lanacane cream works fast for all kinds of itching. There is, it's just like yeah. a bar of soap. And the new balls are not like the balls Dick here used to use. <laughs> you know, the ones you used to get waterlogged. They, they're the question of the moment is, who is observing whom? And who is displaying the stranger behavior? Doses of rap music and endless TV zapping. Sandra Bullock, why she's working as a waitress, and what she has in common with Jerry Springer, the porn star and the transvestite. We're backstage for all the madness behind the. And it doesn't fit. I'm not Richard Milhouse Nixon. I'm Charles Millis Manson. He looked up. And it looked like, you know, it was smoke, and then stuff, and it just come down and just exploded. All we seen was body parts hanging from the trees, and um, just people everywhere. You could just see just parts of them. We have now confirmed that it is a U.S. airplane that crashed, apparently, if I'm told correctly, right after takeoff. You can see that debris from the crash is scattered throughout the woods, and hundreds of emergency crews are now on the scene. I feel sorry for all the people that lost loved ones on that plane. inside this suckling pig and see exactly what the situation is. These are the instruments of torture. This device is used to electrically shock elephants. And this steel hook is used to beat them. This isn't family entertainment. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. And you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the machine how boring life would be if there was no outrageousness. That is to say, none among us who would push the edges of the envelope. Look, television does not and must not create values. It's merely a picture of all that's out there, the good, the bad, the ugly. The politicians or companies that seek to control what each of us may watch are far greater danger to America and our treasured freedom than any of our guests ever could or will be. Till next time. Take care of yourself and each other.